Hello and welcome to another Unlimited 3D tutorial. In this video, you will learn all the tools needed to create a beautiful lighting atmosphere. Let's get started. Light is a crucial part of every scene, but it is often overlooked. Most of the time we can get by using the predefined environment map and light setup. Investing some time in adjusting and editing the lighting can go a long way and make your solution stand out. Navigate to the Lighting tab and open the first panel Environment Map. The Environment Map is a simple image that contains lighting information. Instead of using complex physical lighting, we can replicate any environment by using these maps. We can use HDR extensions, but PNG and JPEG have less impact on performance, so if it's not a deal breaker for you, you should use them instead of HDR. Once we have uploaded lighting from our desired environment, we can adjust the intensity and rotation. These are slight adjustments, but since they affect all the objects in the scene, they are crucial and need to be defined early on. Unlimited 3D Engine offers you a possibility to have multiple environment maps affect different materials. When browsing through the available map slots for our material, we can see an environment map slot. If we upload an environment map here, it will override our global environment map but only for this material. For example, this is very useful when we are trying to create a very shiny material to emphasize reflections. Next in line is the lights panel. Here we can create physical lights for our scene. We can see that there are some lights created by default, but we will make our own light from scratch. Let us create a light source that will be on top of our totem and aim down at our Viking. Clicking on the plus button will initiate a pop-up window for creating a light. Here we are going to give our light a name, and we can choose from the drop-down menu what kind of light we would like. Point light is a light source consisting of a simple point, and all the light rays are emitting from that specific point in 3D space in all directions. A spotlight is a light source consisting of a point and a target, where all the light rays are being emitted from the point towards the set target in space, with a set starting angle. Directional light is a light source that emits perpendicular light rays from an infinite 2D plane. Hemisphere light is a light source emitting light rays from a set half sphere in space. It has an option for adjusting the color of the ground, which reflects the light source. This should be used by placing it on a ground or floor plane. Rectangle area light is a light source that emits light rays from a 2D rectangle. We have control over the size of the rectangle and with the target we can give light rays a direction. For our example, we are going to use a spotlight. We are going to position our origin point on top of the totem and put the target at our Viking's location. Now we have a light that is shining on our character that will give us more drama in the scene. Have in mind that these physical lights affect performance and always try to manage your scene in the most optimal way possible. The last panel in the lighting tab is the ambient occlusion. This represents a black and white texture map that is specific to our model and is baked separately using a separate UV channel. It adds shadows where parts of the mesh are covering each other from any light source, light creases or indentations, which provides us with a more realistic feel and look of the model. We recommend spending some time and creating ambient occlusion maps for the models, since it really goes a long way in terms of realism. This will conclude our lighting tutorial, stay tuned for the next one. If you have any questions, be sure to drop them in the comment section. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.